Praise the Lord. I trust you are doing well in the Lord today. Now today, I want to talk about how to recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit when you are praying in tongues. Now, I want to talk about this because a number of you are asking questions related to hearing from the Holy Spirit and getting directions from the Holy Spirit when you are actually praying in tongues. Now, this is like the simplified version of the whole topic so that it is very easy for you to remember and also very easy for you to implement. Now, the thing is that the Holy Spirit continually speaks to us. Now, the big issue is usually about paying attention or believing that it is actually the Holy Spirit that is speaking to you. So in terms of the Holy Spirit speaking to you and the Holy Spirit giving you instructions, that is usually very straightforward and very easy. The thing that like the challenge that we mostly have is perceiving that it is the Holy Spirit speaking to us and also believing that it is actually the Holy Spirit that is speaking to us. Now, the thing that you need to understand is that the most basic way that the Holy Spirit speaks to people or how God speaks to people is basically through his word, basically the Bible. So this means that anytime that you're praying in tongues and then you get a scripture or like you open the scripture to even read it, then God can easily speak to you. And that is the easiest and the most basic way. But because it is the most basic and easiest way, it also means that it is not very detailed. So basically, the Bible is not going to talk specifically about an issue in your life directly and even mention like your name or something. But you see, it will give you something that is in line with what you are facing or something that is in ag like something that you can relate to that also happened in the Bible. So that is how usually the Holy Spirit is going to use the word of God to speak to you. Now, you see, that one will require some form of interpretation for you to actually get to understand how the scripture that the, that the Holy Spirit has revealed to you actually applies to you. But it is one like it is the most basic way the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Now, I have met people who pray in tongues and they receive scriptures from the Holy Spirit. But then sometimes they want to just think like those were just their own scriptures and they were just reading on their own. But basically the Holy Spirit leads people even physically to just read those scriptures. Even anytime you just open the Bible to read, if you make a prayer and just say, Holy Spirit, lead me to a scripture. Basically the scripture that you open is exactly the scripture that the Holy Spirit wants you to read. So the next thing that you need to do is just ask, how does this scripture apply to my life? Or what do you want me to understand about this scripture? And then usually he's going just to open up your mind and you'll easily understand that scripture and you will know the message that actually he is speaking to you. Now, this is the most basic way. So I'm uh, like, I'm talking about the most basic way because it is the easiest for anyone to actually experience it. Whether there are people who have been praying in tongues for 10 years, for a long time, and people who can uh, like soak deep in the spirit or they are just beginners. Either of them can actually experience, they are like, uh, can actually hear the Holy Spirit using this particular method because it's the most basic. Now, when you begin getting a bit advanced, that is where now you begin getting sort of direct messages from the Holy Spirit. And now you see the thing that is going to happen is that for you to start getting those direct messages, the Holy Spirit will usually require that you read scriptures. Because you see, the thing is that when the Holy Spirit begins giving you direct messages, some of those messages, you will be tempted to actually doubt them. And you see, the only way the Holy Spirit can actually confirm to you that it is him who is speaking to you that message is by referring you to some, to some scriptures. And you see, now that means that you have to know those scriptures before the Holy Spirit can actually speak to you. So that in case you ask for confirmation, then the Holy Spirit can remind you the scriptures that affirm whatever he is actually speaking to you. And this is where it is a good thing for you to at least have the knowledge of scriptures. So when you are reading scriptures, basically just read them for the sake of knowing them. Because I normally say scriptures are English. And if you can read English, then basically just go ahead and read English. Those are stories. Basically, they're just stories of what happened in the past, mostly like the Old Testament. So you see, the thing is that at different, like at different points in different circumstances, the Holy Spirit is going to pick particular lessons from each of those stories that you have read in the Bible. And then he will bring it back to your mind and then you will remember. 
and even sometimes you see when i am like talking and um like making these videos sometimes in the process of making of like making the videos i quote some scriptures or i refer to some portions of scripture so you see when i'm referring to those portions of scripture i don't usually write them down to like memorize them they are just things that come as i speak but you see now it is the holy spirit who is sort of giving me those uh, sort of portions of scripture to affirm the points that i'm actually speaking because you see it is the holy spirit who is giving me the knowledge that i'm actually sharing so if i share a revelation that i am not sure whether it is um, a revelation or whether it is just my own reasoning then what will happen is that the holy spirit will actually add me a scripture to affirm the revelation that he has just given to me and that enables me to actually believe that that revelation has actually come from the holy spirit so this is one of the key things that you actually need to remember when the holy spirit is speaking to you now the other important thing that you have to be aware of is that you see when the holy spirit has spoken to you you need to maintain your level of faith so basically there are people whom like this is something i've also mentioned in some previous video there are those times when you will be praying in tongues and then you will be soaking and soaking deeper in tongues now the thing that happens is that when you soak deeper in tongues it becomes easier for you to actually hear from the holy spirit and when the holy spirit speaks to you it will be easier for you to also believe the messages that he actually gives to you and now the thing that happens is that when he gives you those messages and you stop praying what will happen as like what will happen is that you will now begin drifting away from the spiritual sort of um like that mood that very deep spiritual mood that you are in and when you begin drifting away your faith also starts like going down a little bit so when it begins going down a little bit then it means that what you are more likely to doubt whatever the holy spirit actually spoke to you and this is where i usually emphasize that if the holy spirit speaks to you or if you get any sort of thoughts or any sort of um pictures when you are actually praying in tongues write them down immediately so immediately you are done praying make sure that you write them down and if it is even possible you can write them down when you are still praying because this will now help you to understand that after you are done praying when your faith begins to go down at least you can go with the written word and say i wrote these things when i was in the spirit so even though i may be having doubts at this particular point about these things i have written the truth remains that what i wrote them when i was in the spirit and when i was full of the spirit so that is one very important thing that you need to take note of when like uh, receiving information or receiving communication from the holy spirit now the thing is that your work is to receive that information from the holy spirit once and then you implement it or like you go ahead to do whatever instruction the holy spirit is giving to you there are people who they receive instructions from the holy spirit then they begin sort of reasoning out the things that the holy spirit is actually telling them but you see the moment you begin reasoning you are now using your own carnal mind to try and analyze whatever the holy spirit has given to you and that instantly begins like like a sort of planting doubt within you and you see that doubt the more you reason about those things the more you actually doubt them and so you see naturally you will get to a point where you will not even want to implement them because you no longer have faith in whatever the holy spirit revealed to you now the way you solve this is that if the holy spirit revealed something to you and then you didn't implement it immediately and you have gotten to a point where you are beginning to doubt it what you need to do is that you need to pray again to soak in the spirit again to the same level where you were when you received that word for you to build that enough faith to believe in that word again so that you can actually go and implement it and then always try to implement things immediately when you are still in that peak level of faith before things begin going down and then you can like when and then you can no longer like implement because your faith is actually going down so the holy spirit speaking to us and god speaking to us that is usually very straightforward and very easy for us to actually like for him to actually speak to us the issue is usually just like sometimes we don't either perceive it or we perceive it but then we doubt if that is actually uh, like the holy spirit speaking or sometimes we feel like the information given to us is not enough but always remember that if the information is not enough you can always just make a prayer to the holy spirit and say explain this thing to me let me know this thing in more details 
and then the Holy Spirit will naturally just explain it to you. So that was a little bit I wanted to share today concerning hearing from the Holy Spirit and uh, just the basics of what you need to understand so that you are a lot sharper in hearing from the Holy Spirit and how to sustain yourself in a, like at a place where you can comfortably hear from the Holy Spirit. So if you want clearer messages from the Holy Spirit, you soak deeper in tongues and you try to make sure that you uh, sort of um, cement yourself in those particular words by remaining very prayerful. So that is it for today. God bless you.